Over the past 40 years, America's SBDC Iowa has been helping entrepreneurs in all communities start, grow, and pivot their small businesses to keep pace with the ever-changing marketplace. The past year has brought unprecedented challenges. In 2021, we're renewing our commitment to support entrepreneurs and businesses most impacted to empower a more inclusive recovery. America's SBDC Iowa is proud to participate in a national effort called the Inclusivity Challenge. Our part in the challenge is to better connect with minority-owned businesses and to extend the support to help prosper local businesses, community, and the economy. We sat down with local community leaders that support minority entrepreneurs to ask their thoughts. The challenges for minority entrepreneurs obviously is knowledge. It's really about the common business knowledge. Normally, if you grow up in a business oriented family and you would get from your parents. But a lot of minority business owners or business entrepreneurs, they came out of a background, business is very foreign to them. Well, I think the challenges that minority entrepreneurs are facing, well, let me face qualify this by saying, I think they have some of the same, face some of the same challenges as any entrepreneur. They have to provide uh, value to the consumers, the products and services they provide. And also, there has to be a demand or need for that product. I think once they overcome that particular hurdle, they're in the game. There's challenges with uh, minority-owned businesses uh, in terms of being uh, disproportionately affected uh, through the pandemic. Minority entrepreneurs, um, they try to do everything themselves, right? And a lot of the times, the, the challenge of asking for help or getting someone else involved is a big deal. Uh, the top recommendation that I would give, uh, num number one, is that you have to have passion. So have passion for your idea that when things are going difficult, and it will happen. And uh, passion would take you over that hurdle. My very top recommendation for a minority entrepreneur to start up a brand new business is to remain hungry. Uh, number two, I think the most important thing they need to have is networking. You can't sit behind that desk and expect consumers to come to you. So you got to get out there and network. Number three is that understanding finance. You have to control how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. If you don't take control of that, you won't be in, long, be in business very long. The key to the success of any business is starting small. I think that a lot of the times we have big dreams and we try to translate that into what it would look like in a business, but there's nothing wrong with starting small and growing into that vision that you have. There's a lot of ways that we can work together uh, to make our minority business uh, stronger in Iowa. Uh, mostly collaboration, uh, know what each other does, what resources we can bring to the table, learning to respect each other's uh, expertise and um, you know, assuming best intentions, uh, working together and just celebrating uh, the victories that we do when we have success stories. I think a way that you could, you know, Iowa can make an entrepreneur better is that uh, continue to bring in uh, businesses, entrepreneurs, uh, corporate sector and also the government sector to collaborate amongst each other. Iowa is really already better and stronger for entrepreneurs, I will say that from my heart. And we want to do better because we want Iowa to be the most you know, fertile ground for small business to begin. I already hear people saying that, oh, if you want to start a business, you start in Iowa because that is the place where you can make business go and then you can expand. Yeah, Iowa is the place. <laughs>